I'm Earl Ellis. I'm a professor of geography and environmental systems at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. For the last two years, I've been working with archaeologists to try to deepen our understanding of the early history of, of land use change at global scale. And archaeologists have a deep reservoir of knowledge about the human environment and how it's changed over thousands of years, but they always tend to work locally. And so what we wanted to do is to tap that expertise to try to come up with a global understanding of these local changes. One of the things you might expect from working with people who work deep in time is that you can really see the evidence of humans transforming landscapes, environments, species, composition, uh, just all sorts of aspects of, of the landscape around the world very early on. So for thousands of years, we can see uh, a human effect and that it's, that it's changed uh, significantly over time as it's moved from hunter-gatherers to early farmers to the more intensive, larger scale farms and cities of the world. So we, we can see that whole trajectory over time uh, through these interviews. Well, of course, historians are always looking at the records of societies directly. Uh, archaeologists also do this, but it's not their main thing. They're usually looking at the material records in the earth of what's left behind from societies and people interacting with the environment. They're looking at those kind of physical material legacies and interpreting them, whereas historians usually work with the actual content produced by a society, so historical records and this sort of thing. So that doesn't begin very early except in some regions of the world. So it's, it's, a, it's kind of a very humanized view, uh, whereas the archaeologists are really working with both. They are looking at the environment in great detail and the human world in great detail, and they're doing it with this material record. It's really been very, very successful in that uh, the classic model that we as global change scientists are used to using to understand uh, human transformation of the world through land use has been that this mostly becomes significant just a few hundred years ago at most. Uh, but when you look at it through the lens of archaeology with their deeper knowledge, their deeper evidence uh, in, the, in the record, uh, you can see very significant long-term changes caused by land use agricultural and otherwise, that begins thousands of years ago. So it's really a pretty remarkable difference from the kind of the reigning paradigm of land use is mostly recent, is the, is the story, where the archaeologists are saying, no, the, the real story of human transformation of the earth is a very early one.